Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to download a file from a URL on Linux. So um, we have our document on the right side here. Check the link in the description if you want to find this document. Um, anyway, so quick answer is just to use wget. You can also use curl. So two, two main tools you're going to use to download a file from a URL from the command line is curl and wget. Now if you don't want to do it from the command line and you're using a web browser, you just click on it. So that's probably not what you're looking for if you find your way to this video. You're probably looking for the command. So the quick answer, and we're going to give you some more detail on how to do this, but the quick answer, um, let me just jump into a test directory here. Um, now the quick answer would be to use wget like this, and we're going to download a WordPress package just as a quick example. So I'm going to paste this command in here. So we say wget and then the full URL of the file you're trying to download. In this case, it's latest.zip from wordpress.org. Hit enter and watch it pulls it down relatively quickly and boom, there you go. So let's check what we have in our directory and this is the file we just downloaded that quick. You can just download the file. Um, these other two files in here are files from my last video I recorded. Um, but there we go, latest.zip. So that's how you download that. Um, two main tools, wget and curl. Um, this is the syntax of wget, which we just showed you. Now, um, you can also specify a file name that you want to download to. So if, if, you, if you don't want latest.zip, like let's say if you want it to be something more descriptive, um, you, you could say wget, now you can say dash o, and you could say wordpress latest.zip. Try that out. And that, that's uh, my mistake. This is going to be a capital O. All right, and there we go. Moving along nice and quick. So yeah, remember capital O, not lowercase o is the option. All right, here are our files. And there we go, same file. Instead of latest.zip, we now have wordpress-latest.zip. So you can specify what what you want it to be named as in the destination, which is useful if you download the same copy of the same thing. So anyways, so that that's that option. If it's a generic sounding file, you can rename it to what, something more descriptive. Now, <clears throat> let's try to download the same file using curl. So we have a few commands here, a few different variations. Now, um, if you just want to download that same exact file, you can say, you can paste that in here, say curl, and then the URL. And since it's a binary file we're downloading, it can't go directly to the terminal, otherwise it would mess things up, and it gives us a warning message. So um, we would use a dash O, capital O, and run this, and it's gonna take a little bit. Um, I, it, it feels like uh, wget actually went faster. And there we go. All right, so that gives us a file with the, uh, actually, actually, I should remove all of these. So that downloaded this one right here. Th these were from some test files from before. Um, this, is, this is what was just downloaded just now. So, um, so that is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna remove all of these files directory all right so now if we want to specify the name of a file all right so that notice that was a capital O now if we want to specify the name of a file and and download it to a file using curl use a lowercase O and specify the name of the file and there we go and that that was actually really fast and maybe because it was cached any case um, moving along here if you, you can use, um, if you're just downloading a web page like this, if you just download the index page from wordpress.org, you can just use the word curl and download it, except this is not gonna download to a file by default. It's gonna spit it out directly to your, uh, to your console. So you're getting the raw HTML for that page right here on your console, which is great if you wanna grep for things or something like that. Um, So 
So see, you, you can jet grep for uh, keywords and stuff. So that's kind of neat, um, but nothing downloaded. So if you wanted to actually download something, you would use, again, the uh, lowercase o option, and you might say test.html. Now, since it's HTML and not a binary, that gives us an HTML file, which we can then, uh, let's just cat the contents of this. And notice it's the same content that we would just we had just spit out to the screen before. So that's it, that's how to, and I'm, I'm gonna have to update these commands on um, this guide on the side here. I'm gonna have to put some updated commands in here because these were not exactly accurate. You'll see an updated page when you check. But check the link in the description for this uh, for this page right here. Um, and I should cover how to ins how to install curl in wget on Ubuntu. So I'm using Ubuntu for testing. So let's see here. You would, now I already have both commands installed, but um, just to give you an idea, um, just in case you don't have it, um, first, before installing anything, do a sudo apt update to get the latest info about what's available from your repo. And then to actually install curl, you would say sudo apt install curl. And to install update, or rather to install a wget, you would say apt install wget. And that's how you could install those. That, that's all the basics that you would need to uh, download files from the command line on Linux. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up, otherwise uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up and, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.